Well, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Last time we killed Seymour. Um, I don't know what to tell you on that, but we it's time for us to leave. We've been branded traitors. It's terrible. Hmm, what's this? What are these? Oh! Give me a break. Right? What? Well, it wouldn't be a temple without a cloister of trials. Even if we do have the Aeon now. So that kind of sucks. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna start by pushing. Whoops. We're gonna start by walking. Come on, man. Push it. Since this is an ice dungeon, things are gonna slide. Yay. Okay, so let's do that. Let's grab this. Now this is one of those dungeons in which if you for some reason miss the destruction sphere and you want to come back later to do it, um, you're gonna have to fight a super boss to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and just, I mean, we're gonna fight all the super bosses anyway, but I wanna make sure that we, well, I mean, we do this. Okay, let's grab this glyph spear here, glyph spear. And let's head on down. Yeah, this has got actually three levels, so that's fun. Okay, let's go all the way over here. We're gonna put the glyph sphere in here. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and push the... Come on, Titus, we got this. So that's what we're doing. We have to get spears into the into those pillars, essentially. Okay, so once we've done that, let's head back upstairs. And there was that sphere that was just exposed. So let's grab it. And we're gonna head back downstairs and we're gonna put it in the pillar. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is in fact a slot in the pillar. And that's going to activate that one. Yay. We're moving right along. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to head back upstairs and we want to grab this sphere, which is going to cause that to vanish. And then we're going to go back here to this pillar that we had originally done and we're going to go ahead and activate it. But we haven't gotten the destruction sphere yet, so that's a concern. Ooh, but that appeared. All right, so let's go ahead. First things first, uh, we're gonna head back upstairs and we're gonna step on this little pedestal that summons the, well, the pedestal thingy that we had been pushing around. And we wanna grab the sphere from it and then we're gonna push it down the ramp. So it's gonna shoot across and you can kind of see, it's maybe hard to tell, but there's like a little square floating thing on it now. So what we wanna do is we're gonna come all the way down here and there's another little glinting tile down here. And if we go in here, we can see, hey, look, it's got like a square above it. Yeah, we need that. Um, it's also kind of got like the ghost of a destruction sphere in there. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna put the sphere in here and that causes this little, like snow thing to appear. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push the pedestal again. And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab this. It doesn't matter since we had already destroyed the little snow ice thing there. I'm guessing it's ice, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna cause the ramp to re-emerge. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way back to where this is and we're gonna push it down. Cool. Once we're all down here, we're gonna follow it all the way down and we're gonna grab the destruction sphere, hooray! And this one we're gonna go ahead and put in here. It's the last slot we haven't done anything with. Who? 
Oof! And there is our reward. So let's go ahead and grab that. And we get a Lux Sphere from that. Beautiful! Okay, in order to replace or to start all of this, let's see, let me make sure I where my notes is. So we want to go up again. Be really careful not to step on any glinting tiles from here on out because uh, it becomes a real problem if you do. Okay, nope, I don't want to do that. Nope, nope, nope. I want to head back downstairs. I got a little too excited. And I want to put it in the pedestal here. Come on, come on, babe. Thank you. And then we're gonna push it to the right like we did earlier to put it back down here. All right, and then if we go all the way back up, we should be able to take this. Careful there, Titus. You don't want to fall back downstairs. And then we're going to go to the middle pillar, and we're going to insert this again. So we should actually be done now. And like I said before, if you don't get the destruction sphere here, I mean, it is just a luck sphere, so it's not like you're missing out on anything that's like completely missable <laughs> like we could we could get other luck spheres but if you do want to have to come back it's gonna be a problem please give us a chance to explain no need I already know what I'll tell the other maesters this guy is not on our side meaning Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait, wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! Why would you say you that? This? Hey! Yeah, he broke it. The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Oh, wait. Run! <laughs> go, Oren, go. Okay, so we are now on the run. Now, one thing here is Owaka. Really now. Wanna buy something just in case? Nice. We can actually buy stuff from Owaka here, which is just like if you don't have any potions or whatever. We have plenty, so we're not a problem. Feel free to save here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a refresh. Um, but we're gonna get moving. Now, if you start going that way, oh, a walker just vanished. The Guados start chasing you. Now you always get attacked by one, regardless of what you do, it'll always be fast enough to catch up with you. But the rest of them, you don't have to face off against. Like that one's gonna catch us. You cannot get away from him. Though we got a little bit further this time than I did last time. Now the Guado here have a counter in which any damage that is done uh he'll use what is it i think a high potion but i believe if you steal from him he can't do it anymore haha -ha. take that um also i want to bring kamari in here because i want to do some damage to the enemies i want to get overdrive comrade for him um, which is going to be a little rough to do, but we're going to try and do that in the next area. Because I want to get his... I want to get his overdrive up. There we go, that's nice. Warrior would be helpful too here. But let's move on. Yeah, so the Guado are not hard if you steal their high potions and you get a reasonable amount of ap from those guys so it could be worth doing um but i'm not going to do that i'm not going to sit there and ah there's one right behind me and then once you get up here you're completely safe so don't worry too much about it now there's enemies oh we got ambushed there's enemies up here all of them are weak to fire i think um i don't think there's anything of any particular interest that i'm like curious about Maybe not. That actually really hurts. We got amp. Oh gosh. Ow! Thanks. 
Um, let's switch to Waka here. Um, yeah, no, let's do Waka real quick. I want to get rid of that evil eye. Those things can confuse and it's really obnoxious. Obnoxious? Obnoxious. That sounds like something I don't know. And let's go ahead and get rid of the confusion. I actually do want to have my allies take damage. I know that sounds kind of strange, um, but I want that to happen in order to get Overdrive Comrade on Kamari. So go over to Riku here, and I want to steal. No, I want to steal. We're just gonna do a little bit of damage with Kamari. Uh, let's see here. Did we do everybody? Have we done? We did Waka. We did Boron. So I think we just have Lulu left. I don't think this will take him down. Uh, let's see here. Who else do we have? Okay, we'll just use I think a good prey for the other two of you. Will be nice. Come on. Still not quite there. Let's pray again. Actually, it's really nice because it's filling up his his um, overdrive, and I do need that. We're still technically being chased, but no one's gonna show. What is with your hair, Lulu? Oh, I did not use Oron. That's okay. Let's do a real quick heal up here because ow, poor Oron. Now, I want to stay on the right side to start with here. It's a very small path. I think we can get across here. Haha. -ha. I don't know why we're being ambushed so much. It's actually kind of annoying the crap out of me. Okay, let's go ahead and take one of these guys out. Hoping to not get confused here, that would be great. Okay, let's attack this guy. I'm gonna switch over to Riku to get... I need her to get a few more levels. She's like fine where she's at, but we could be doing better. Okay, let's get rid of that evil eye. That guy was annoying me. Let's switch to Yuna to start with. I'm gonna go ahead and get a prey in here. Oh, I was not expecting him to do 600 points of damage. All right, Kamari, I see you. But the reason why I wanted to stay over here is because there is this little chest and it's a level one key sphere. Very nice. Now, as we come down this direction. Okay, so actually that worked out great. We're really close to the overdrive on Kamari, but one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and set mode to comrade for him. So there's really a couple things that we could do here. Let me go over to uh, either Waka or Oron here. So depending on how your character works will determine uh, whether or not, what, you, what kind of uh, overdrive you want to use. So for characters such as Oron, who do a lot of damage, it can actually be really useful to have them do the warrior stance. For characters like Kamari, so Kamari himself does not do a lot of damage. And Stoic is kinda nice if you're using a character like, well, even like Oron who has like threaten or guard in which um, that means you take the damage. But I think for Kamari, comrades a lot better. And then when it comes to people like Lulu, for example, again, I think like Comrade would be really good. The thing is, I don't like Lulu's overdrive, so I'm never gonna use it, so I don't really care. Yuna is actually very important, and she has the healer overdrive. I haven't talked about this one, but it charges when the character heals allies. That's what she does, so we're gonna switch it to healer. Tita's also does a lot of damage, so we're gonna keep it at Warrior, and the same thing with Waka. Uh, Waka could probably, actually both of these guys could probably be good with Comrade, but I think Warrior will be fine. We have not unlocked anything with Riku because she's only been stealing, so all of this should be good. All right, so now that we are at the save point, let's go ahead and jump into the Sphere Grid, and then we'll talk about the setup because there's going to be a battle coming up here. So just, just a warning. 
So Kamari has now learned focus. That'll be good for his magic stuff. Uh, let's move Lulu forward, and she's got some- I don't think there's anything new in here, just some- I think this is defense. That'll be great for her, actually. She's still very squishy. Mages are always squishy, and it sucks. So nothing new for anybody here, though Titus is gonna get a nice HP boost, which is gonna be useful here. Just an HP boost for him as for Waka as well. So down here, we're moving Riku right along. We've got a defense increase, and we've also got a magic defense increase. Nice. And I think that's a bit it. So let me go ahead and save here. All right, now that we've saved, let's go ahead and move on. Let's go. Oh, the mouse is in the way. Let me move that out of the way. I had to take a pause, and I forgot to move it. God, these guys are tenacious. Go away. What is that? I don't like any of this. Well, okay, we got a boss battle here against the, um, is it Wendigo? Wendigo? Yeah, that guy. Uh, what we're gonna do, ooh, um, let's start by bringing Oren in here, and I'm gonna use the uh, power break on him. That will make this battle a little bit lot easier. A little lot. So we can remove Berserk using Asuna. Ow, rude. Ouch. Okay. Well, um, Kamari does not have his overdrive ready, which is not great, actually. But what we're going to do is I'm going to use Riku. Let's go ahead. We're going to steal from the Guado Guardians. If you have uh, your... What's the word I'm looking for? Overdrive on Kamari. Just use the stone breath again because that will make things a lot easier. I'm gonna need you to stop it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this guy over here. What? Sir? 42 hit points. Get out of here. He's gonna use protect as he dies. Um, that's okay. Don't really worry too much about that at this point. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna use... I don't think slow works on them. I'm blanking on if it does or not. Okay, so I'm gonna switch from Oron back over to Riku real quick here, and I'm gonna go ahead and steal this guy's high potion. He will always counter with a high potion if you haven't stolen it, which is ridiculous, but it's fine. I'm gonna bring Yuna in. Um, she's not, she does not need to heal right now. This party is currently healed. So let's go ahead and use Asuna on this guy to remove that Berserk. I think it might remove the Power Break too. Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, good. So that makes that a lot easier. Let's use White Magic Haste on Yuna. We're gonna need healing. Can you not? Ow. For hell. God. Ow. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I want to go ahead and do that. Let's bring Oron in here. I'm gonna need you to do more than your tiny amount of- Now you suck. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna use Shell. It's fine. And I think we can remove that later, but I don't really care too much uh, at this point. I'm gonna bring Lulu in though, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Fira on this guy. But as you can see, that Shell is kind of obnoxious. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and use Haste on Lulu. I think eventually... It, does that eventually wear off? I feel like it will. It will. Uh, let's see here. I'm thinking let's go ahead and do an overdrive here. That'll make this a little bit easier. And just get uh, extra, extra damage in here. Not like we're using his overdrive... Uh, for any other reason, so... He's not weak to fire, but I'm gonna use fire anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's use armor break on this guy. Yes, it works. I'm gonna switch over to Yuna because Oron's taking quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and use a cure on him. Ooh, 
that hurt like a, like just terrible. Let's go ahead and heal up on Lulu. Who are we missing? Who have we not used? Um, do we need? I'm gonna use E for it later, but. Uh, yeah, we could use a general heal. Let's see here. I've used, used, used. So I kind of, no, Kamari's not going to do any use here. So I think we're good to just start whacking. Can, can you not? Let's actually, I'm gonna switch Lulu out for Kamari, I think. Or actually, here's what we'll do. We'll bring Kamari in right now, because Kamari does, no, I'm, mm, I'm debating on who is, who's gonna be doing the most damage here. Let's go with Tita, sure. And you know what we'll do? We'll use Oron's um, overdrive as well. That'll help. Hey buddy, can you use... Oh, we have all sorts of things. Let's use Shooting Star, just for fun. So, let's see, X, A, A. Let's go! Just to see it, because we haven't actually seen... Oh, that one wasn't very exciting. Okay, so he's put his arms up. We do not want to do any sort of magic or physical to him right now, because he will... His physical counter here is going to be quite a bit. I'm going to use cheer. Get everybody's defense and attack up while we're waiting for him to do his thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use focus. That's more for Lulu than everybody else, but that's two. Let's do three. Here's four. Yeah, sure, one more would be fine. It'll be great for her. Um, four? Oh, you don't really have anything at the moment, so I'm just gonna have him defend. That should be fine for now. Nope, go to special. And that's the last cheer that I need for this group. I'm gonna, let's see. We don't need to switch out quite yet. Let's go ahead and just use another focus, sure. But well, we're waiting for him to do whatever the hell he's doing. Uh, let's see here. Now let's switch over to Yuna. I think we could use a heal. Do we need a heal? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, cool. Um, then we're just gonna chill. Until he lowers his hands. Uh, sure, you can use another focus. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to wait a moment until he gets his arms down. I really do not want to deal with his damage. There you go, he finally puts his arms down and we can start to attack as we, as we were. Let's go! Nice damage boost there, thanks to cheer, thanks to focus for doing a little bit more damage. Just wail on him. This battle's a lot easier if you take the Guado out first. So uh, be aware, of, like if you use um, Stone Breath, it just makes this battle so much easier. But this is the this is the worst case scenario, and obviously we're doing fine. Nice, good job, team. Oh, no ending. Uh oh, is there phase two? Did he get back up? Is that what just happened? Okay, there's- oh, we did not- okay, Kamari didn't get any AP there. That sucks. I guess I didn't- I just switched him out. That's okay. It's okay. What is Praise this? Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said. If I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there, and in one piece. Even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. 
Okay, we have a lot of story and conversation to do here, but I'm gonna ignore all of it and I'm just gonna save and end for today. But let's go ahead and level up everyone before we get going. It's not gonna be necessary for the next little bit of the sequence, so don't worry about it too much. So if you wanna wait, like, you definitely can. Let's see, uh, Oren's coming up on, I think this is mental break, so that's fun. Riku's gonna get a little bit of a mana upgrade here. Fantastic, not that she's doing anything. Um, when it comes to Riku, I think, what is she coming up on? Let's see, there's really not a lot of anything here. If we continue along, she will learn Mug, so that's nice. Um, but eventually we'll have to figure out what we wanna do with Riku, because we are, I mean, up here we've got Copycat, um, down here is all of the um, magic stuff. I don't know, we'll just have to figure out exactly what we want to do down here. I don't see any, abil any abilities down here. Well, over here is Bribe, that's cool. Um, and then over here is all the Fira and stuff. She's very close to Lulu's path, so... Uh, we'll probably have some overlap eventually. Let's grab that sphere grid so we can actually see everybody. We're looking pretty good and we're just, we're, we're moving right along the story. So I will see you guys next time as we try to determine what we're doing down here. <laughs>